Hi, this is Gary with MacMost.com. Let's take a look at text transformations on your Mac. MacMost is brought to you thanks to a great group of more than a thousand supporters. Go to MacMost.com slash Patreon. There you can read more about the Patreon campaign. Join us and get exclusive content and course discounts. So text transformations are a feature available on your Mac just about anywhere that you edit text that allows you to convert lowercase to uppercase or do something special like capitalize each word. So to use it basically you're in an app like TextEdit here and let's say I wanted to capitalize all of the letters. I could just select this text and then go to Edit and then Transformations. And here you'll find the three built-in transformations. Make uppercase, make lowercase, and capitalize. If I use Make Uppercase you can see now every letter has been transformed to uppercase. Now I'm not sure why you'd want to use that but you may actually find yourself with everything uppercase. Maybe you accidentally pressed the Caps Lock key and didn't notice until you were done typing the line. Or maybe somebody sent you some text like this and now you've got to convert it. Well you can now go to Edit, Transformations, and select Make Lowercase. This will lowercase every letter here. So you're going to have to go and capitalize the beginning of sentences, maybe some proper nouns and things like that. But it's far easier than actually retyping the line. Now Edit, Transformations, Capitalize will capitalize every single word. So the first letter is a capital letter and everything else is lowercase here. This could be handy for a number of reasons like making a headline or a title. But it's never going to be just right if it's going to capitalize every single word. After all just about any headline or title I've ever seen is going to have this be lowercase right there and perhaps some other words as well. But it's much easier to actually use the capitalize transformation and then change one letter than to go over the first letter of every word and change it. So those are the three basic text transformations. But I'm going to show you in a minute how you can create your own. Before I do that though let's take a look in Pages at an alternative to changing all the text. Suppose you have something like this and you want to have it be all capitalized. Maybe this is the title or something and you want it to appear special and in all caps. Well you could go to Edit, Transformations, and Make Uppercase. But that would permanently change every letter to uppercase. If you wanted to go back it's really difficult. Especially if some things in here are capitalized like names and such. You would have to convert back to lowercase and then carefully go through and change some of those to uppercase to get it back the way it was. Instead change the style of the text. So I've got this selected and under Format, Style, I can click here and under Capitalization there are some options. So for instance I can select All Caps. Now it seems to have done the same thing. Except it really didn't change the letters. Pages still knows that every letter there is either uppercase or lowercase. In this case the first letter is uppercase and the rest are lowercase. If I were to change this back to None it knows that. So it's just displaying them as uppercase. Not really changing them. Plus you have other options here. For instance you can do Start Case which is similar to what we saw before. The first letter of every word is capitalized. But also Title Case which will be smart enough to know to not capitalize the T in the second the. There's also small caps which is kind of neat because all of the lowercase letters appear as small uppercase letters. It's something that can look nice in a headline or a quote or something like that. And the great thing with all of these is you can always go back to None and it remembers exactly how you had everything before. So it's not a permanent change. More of a style change like making something bold or italic. Now what if you wanted to have more transformations? Well there's no way to add anything to here. But you can add some custom transformations easily with the Shortcuts app. So let's run Shortcuts and I'm going to add a new one. We'll call this Text Transform. And let's go to Settings here and use it as a quick action which will allow us to actually perform a function on something selected like some selected text. And let's have it provide output so it can transform that text and replace what you had selected. Now let's go here to what it receives. We don't want it to receive any. We're going to clear that. And then we're going to go back in and we're going to set it to receive text or rich text. And that's it. So now it's going to take the text in and give the same text back out. But we can add an action in between those two things. So let's look for Transform and there's one called Change Case. Let's look at the help on that. And you can see it can do uppercase, lowercase, or title case. In fact it can do much more. Let's drag it in and 
put it right there. So it's going to take the shortcut input, change it to uppercase, and output it. If I click on uppercase here you can see that it can do more than just uppercase and lowercase. It can also capitalize every word which we already have. These three are just like the first three in the Edit menu. But we have some other things here like Title Case. Let's use that and test this out. Now remember I've got this set to be a quick action. So in Text Edit here I can select the text and I'll find Quick Actions in the Services menu. Here's Text Transform. I'm going to use this and notice how it correctly didn't capitalize the T in the second the. So Title Case works a lot better. But let's make things a little more difficult. You can see here I've added a few other words here. In and On in particular are sometimes capitalized, sometimes not in headlines depending upon your style. A shouldn't be capitalized. And iPhone has unique capitalization with a lowercase i and a capital P. So let's go and try this in the Services menu. Select Transform Text. And this is what we've got. So it correctly did iPhone. It also correctly left A as lowercase. But In and On could be capitalized, could be lowercase. It depends on, again, the style you're following. And in a lot of styles it depends on how these words are actually used. So let's go and create our own variation that will capitalize In and capitalize On. And this is just an example. You may actually have other things that you may want to change about how Title Case works. So here in Text Transform let's look for Replace and there's Replace Text. I'm going to add that here after it capitalizes everything. And let's replace the word In with Capitalized In. But we don't want it to do any time the two letters are found next to each other. So we're going to do Space In and replace that with Space Capital In. More or less this should work for every time the word In appears. After all, if I and N are the first two letters of any other word it should be capitalized to begin with. It's just when it's this word that it's a problem. Let's do the same thing here with On. Space On. Replace with Space Capital On. So after capitalizing with Title Case it's then going to do something special with In and special with On. Now we can go and select this text. I'll go to the Services menu, Text Transform, and you can see now In and On are correctly capitalized. There are a couple other transformations here. You've got Capitalize with Sentence Case which just leaves the first letter capitalized, lowercase is everything else. And then you've got the Capitalize with Alternating Case which, which can be used for emphasis or just for fun. And of course you can do a lot more with these replacements here. In fact if you're good with regular expressions notice that the Replace Text function will actually take and use a regular expression. And you have other regular expression functions in Shortcuts as well. So for more advanced programmers you can basically use regular expressions to create all sorts of complex transformations. Hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching. If you like this video click the thumbs up button below to let me know. I publish new tutorials each weekday. Hit the Subscribe button so you don't miss out.